Devin. If you're following me for the first time, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pumpkin centerpiece made out of mason jars. Now you may have seen this on Pinterest, so this is the first time I'm going to be attempting it. I've never attempted it before. So this is going to be a DIY slash giveaway because the cool thing for you guys is I'm not even going to be keeping this thing. It's gonna be for one of you guys to enter to have a chance to win it. So the mason jar lids that I chose were the wide mouth mason jars. Now I've seen regular size mason jars used, but I'm just using the wide mouth ones. So hopefully that works well. And all you're gonna need is mason jar lids, just the rim part. You're going to need spray paint. I'm using just orange. They saw that they had a pumpkin one, but it was out of stock. So I'm just going to use the orange one. You're going to also need cinnamon sticks, burlap, and like green straw ribbon. I will insert a picture right now of how I'm hoping mine turns out. I can't promise that it will look exactly alike, but I'm hoping that it's pretty close. The ribbon is a little bit different than the one that I have, but I hope that it looks just as good. Here's the picture right now. All right, you guys, now the first step you're going to need to do is find a place to spray paint. It's too dark to spray paint out right now because I just got home from work a little bit ago. So I'm in our garage and I have a door open. So I just put the mason jar lids down and I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint them quickly. And then hopefully they dry really fast. And for safety reasons, you can also use a face mask. All right, you guys, now that whole step is done. They are all dry. And depending how much you want them spray painted, like how orange you want them, I kind of like a little bit of the regular mason jar coming through, like a little bit of the gold coming through. So I'm not totally going to coat mine. So that's just up to you. You can do another coat if you would like to, or you can just leave it like that. Or if you wanted to, you don't even have to paint them at all. You could leave them the regular color they are. Really cute one that I saw is kind of like the old, like really old mason jar lids that kind of look a little like dingy. Those into the pumpkin look really, really pretty as well. So you can leave them brand new, unpainted at all. You can get the old ones if you have old, you know, mason jar lids laying around, or you can paint them like I have, or you can paint them where they're really, really orange and you can't see any of the gold shining through. But I kind of like that look. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. All right guys, now after you finish the first step, you're gonna go ahead and put your stuff at a table. You're going to need twine, green. This is just paper rope. You don't have to have this. Some of the pumpkins that I've seen with the mason jars didn't have this. I think this is really cute. And then you're going to need cinnamon sticks. I already had the twine, but the cinnamon sticks and the paper rope I got from Michaels and then the mason jar lids I got from Target. I have a ton of burlap from my wedding a couple years ago. I'm just gonna use extra that I have. So what you're going to wanna do is you're going to want to grab all of the mason jar lids and now you want them to be all the same size. And you're going to gather them up basically to form a pumpkin shape. And you're going to need 24 mason jar lids. And you can already see the shape that's coming out to be, and that's a pumpkin. And I'm sure you can already tell what it's looking like, which is a pumpkin, obviously. Now you're gonna to wanna to get your twine. Now I have a few more to put in, but you're gonna to wanna to get your twine. I'm just kind of holding my pumpkin drawers still. There might be an easier way to do this, but this is just what I'm doing. It's pretty easy though. Okay. It's okay if they fall because they're already in the twine. And then just pull them together. Okay, what I'm noticing is some of the paint is starting to peel off. So what I'm gonna do with those spots, I'm just going to turn them so that way you won't be able to see them. Okay, so once you have them all 
wrapping the twine, you're just gonna pull the twine like as tight as you can and knot it. I'm just gonna double knot mine. Just in case. So now it looks like a pumpkin. And I think that looks really cute. If you don't like some of the pieces that got messed up from the paint, just all you need to do is spin them so they're not showing. So I'm loosening this up a little bit. That way I can get the cinnamon sticks in. Okay, so I pushed my cinnamon sticks in so now you can tell. It's a pumpkin with a stem. So after that part, you're going to go ahead and get your green string and you're going to want to cut leaves out from your, with your burlap. That way, just in case you mess up the mason jar lids from pushing the, mace, the cinnamon sticks in, you can kind of hide those little imperfections. I just basically made it really long and then just overlapped it a bunch of times. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a bow. Make sure you tie it really tight. You can make it thick or thinner, it's up to you. It's all your personal preference of how you want it to look. Okay, so that's the way it's gonna look. You're gonna go ahead and put the leaves on. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that once I find my hot glue gun. But after that, you are done and here is your pretty pumpkin centerpiece. All right, you guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY project and you do it as well leave a comment down below if you did complete this project because i think it's absolutely adorable it was reasonable especially if you already have the mason jar lids now the rules of how to win this now i did this diy video with my best friend cassidy from it's me cassidy if you want to enter to have a chance to win this pumpkin centerpiece or her amazing little craft that she made make sure you subscribe to both of our channels so you like both of our videos and to enter to win my gift, go to her channel and leave a comment with something that you're thankful for. I think this is such a cute idea and I'm so excited that you guys had the chance to win two different prizes. You have the chance to win this prize and the gift that she makes. You're getting to learn how to make two crafts and you have a chance to win two different prizes. We will pick someone by random. When we choose the winner by random, we will then make sure that that person did all the instructions that they needed to and i will leave the directions on how to enter down below but i hope you guys like this video and i hope you guys make this cute adorable mason jar pumpkin because i absolutely love it and i think it's so cute hey for my first time i think this came up pretty darn good but all right you guys i'll see you next time bye